capital ship for an ocean trip was a walloping window blind. No wind that blew dismayed her crew or troubled the captain's mind. The man at the wheel was made to feel content for the wildest blow. Though it often appeared when the gale had cleared that he'd been in his boat below. Then blow me winds, I ho, a roving I will go. I'll stay no more on England's shore, so let the music play. I'm off on the morning train, I'll cross the raging main. I'm off to my love with a boxing glove ten thousand miles away. A uh, captain sat on a commodore's hat and dined in a royal way. Off toasted pigs and pickles and figs and gunnery bread each day. And the cook was Dutch and behaved as such, for the diet he gave the crew was a number of tons of hot cross buns served up with sugar and glue. Then blow you in tight ho, a roving I will go. I'll stay no more on England shore, so let the music play. I'm off on the morning train, I'll cross the raging main. I'm off to my love with a boxing glove ten thousand miles away. Then we all fell ill as mariners will on a diet that's cheap and rude. And we shivered and shook as we dipped the cook in a tub of his gruesome food. Then all the fright we laid aside and we ran a vessel ashore on the color of out where the poop poo smiles and the rubbly of dogs roar. On rock, buck, buck from Montel Duck, we dined till we all had grown. Uncommonly shrunk when a Chinese junk came up from the torribly zone. She was chubby and square, but we didn't much care, so we merrily put to sea. And we left all the crew in the junk to chew on the bark of the rock bark tree. Play. I'm off on the morning train, I'll cross the raging main, I'm off to my love with the boxing glove, I'm off to my love with the boxing glove.